sure, you can always shop around for flooring, but in the end, it all leads back to the one place you probably should have started, the experts at Carpet One. Save yourself the time and the hassle and let Carpet One help you find the right product at the right price, beautifully installed, guaranteed. Come see the one, Carpet One, on the Business Loop in Columbia. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Friday, January the 1st, 2016. You got to get used now to saying 2016 and writing those checks and dating them 2016. Yeah. Where did 2015 go? Oh, it flew by. <laughs> it did, didn't it? <laughs> it definitely Happy flew New by. Year to you, Yvonne. This Happy is Yvonne Chamberlain, well. who is with us, representing Room at the Inn. Yes. And uh, I, I thought it was quite appropriate that New Year's Day, we feature Room at the Inn yes. on Radio Friend. Tell me about the organization. Um, well, Room at the Inn is an emergency winter homeless shelter here in town, um, and we provide a warm, safe place 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. for homeless individuals or displaced individuals in the community that don't have anywhere to go. Mm -hmm. um, today is New Year's Day, and it is one of, this will be the second year that we've actually been open or are open all day. So because the warming state centers in town are closed on holidays like Christmas and New Year's, um, last year we instituted being open 24 hours um, during the Christmas holiday and the um, New Year's holiday. So, 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 so you're open 24 hours a day from Christmas Day to no, New Year's? No, no, no. 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 So we, Christmas Day Christmas and New Eve, Year's Day. Right. So we started um, Christmas Eve at 7 p.m. and we closed at 7 a.m. the day after Christmas. So we opened last night at 7 p.m. and we will close tomorrow at 7 a.m. Okay. So people have a safe, warm place to go during New Year's Day mm -hmm. and they had it during Christmas Day. Yes. Now you opened, uh, what, December? December 20th. December 20th, mm -hmm. and how long will Room at the Inn We remain? are open until May, th oh, sorry, March 3rd this year. Yeah, um, so, you extended it from last year, well, right? Well, actually, we last year we started December 11th, and we um, closed on March the 10th. We shortened it just a little bit, um, partly because of the numbers that we saw, and partly because of we, we anticipated that the weather was gonna be a little bit nicer, mm -hmm. which it has been for the most part, um, and so we opened a little bit later this year how many people do you serve during this period during the period so last year we had 189 individuals that stayed with our shelter um, some of those individuals stayed for just one night because they were passing through or it was just a temporary displacement um, we had quite a few I would probably say 30 or 40 who were with us pretty much the whole season that we were open the whole season mm -hmm. what do you do when you close and where do these people go Unfortunately, um, some of the guests that we have don't have anywhere else to go, and so they end up um, back on the streets. We do. I like. I like to share some of the um, great stories about um, guests who have succeeded, and so we have several who have found full-time housing. They've gotten into um, rehab, whether it be um, substance abuse rehab, whether it be financial rehab type programs, and are now in housing and off the streets and doing very well. Mm -hmm. um, um, there are several that I see on a regular basis that are so excited to share. So their that's got to feel very it's an good. Amazing feeling when you see someone who was down on their luck, mm -hmm. and because of room at the end, they had a place to stay. Exactly. They felt Im they felt important. They it, did. it is so important to feel that you have self worth as right. a human being. Right. And, and to be able to give back. Um, one of the great stories as well is that um, David Weber and Carol Bryan wrote a play called A Night at the Shelter, which, um, pre which we featured that on it here. Was, right. And it was in November. And several of the actors that were in that play were actual former guests of the shelter who had the opportunity to perform and give back to um, the greater community by telling their stories, but also by spreading the word about um, homelessness and the initiatives that need mm -hmm. um, are out there to help prevent um, and or unless, improve the situation. unless you see it firsthand like you do, mm -hmm. many of us don't realize that the situation actually is here in yes. central Missouri. Oh, yes. You think of it in big cities. You think of it in, in, in New York or right. Chicago or Los Angeles, or San Francisco, 
St. Louis and Kansas City. Right. You don't think of it it's happening here in central right. Missouri, but there are many homeless people here. Oh, there are. There are. And, and they're homeless for various reasons. They're homeless because, you know, their ends just don't meet. They're homeless because of mental health issues. They're homeless because of domestic, you know, trying to escape domestic violence or um, recovering from being human trafficked. Um, there's a variety of different reasons why people are homeless. Um, and I think when you get to work with this population and you get to converse with them and learn their stories, you do have a whole new appreciation for what that experience They're human is like. Beings. Mm -hmm. They're human beings. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if people listening to us now would like to help out as far as volunteering or if they would like to make a, uh, a donation, donation, what do sure. they do? Um, so the best thing to do would be to visit our website, which is www.roomatthenncomo.org. Um, and there you will have access to um, the sign-up schedule. Um, we do both on-site volunteers um, for the shelter every night and through the early morning. We also have a laundry team, um, so people who will take the beddings and um, wash them and return them to the shelter oh, nice. so that we have fresh bedding so for people our guests. So people take them home and wash them? Well, we, we ask that they take them and take them to um, Splashers, which is the um, washing facility over off of Paris Road, uh -huh. and um, wash them there and bring them back. Um, so... Uh, we, we have an arrangement with them where we've got some uh, cards that yeah. we use to, to, to pay for the laundry. So um, doing laundry with splashers, um, volunteering on site, and then if you're doing fundraisers in you know youth groups or organizations at your church and want to do those type of donations or personal donations, there um, the information about how to mail in those donations, um, monetary donations, is on our website. Do you have to have any training if you sign up to volunteer? So ideally, yes. Um, we also have on our website a calendar that lists all of the training upcoming training sessions, and you can always call and request a training session for an organization or or group that you're a part of. So when you sign up, mm -hmm. how, how much training do you the, need? The training is roughly about an hour and a half. And basically what we do is we go over the policies and procedures. We go over some of the things that you might expect to see. Um, we reiterate and typically have an, a representative from the um, Columbia Police Department there just to talk about the service that they provide, which is um, they're there from 6 6.45 to 9.45 p.m., really to be a calming presence, not necessarily to do any um, intervention on our behalf, with the exception of if we need to contact um police for medical or um, behavioral issues, they can kind of expedite <laughs> yeah, that yeah. process a little bit for us, but it's more of a, a safety and um, um, emotional stability right. concern for our volunteers. Uh, it's Javon Chamberlain talking about Room at the End. It's, it's a wonderful organization, it part is. of our community. Yvonne, thank you so much for coming out. And this was your first year that you were part of Como Give. Yes, okay. it was an amazing experience and we were excited and I think we are looking forward to being a part of that next year. All right, thank you for coming by. Happy 2016. Thank you and happy 2016 to you as well. Tomorrow, uh, saving sight and food safety, our topic, or actually Monday, a program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute, Audio Pat Akers, KBIA, our floor director, Maya Jackson, and our assistant producer, and guest coordinator, Uncle James Bowser.